this is for people who use Autodesk Sketchbook. The last video that I created on realistic tips and tricks on how to create realistic artwork in Autodesk Sketchbook. And to be honest, when I was doing that, I was not prepared. When I was like creating that artwork, I was not prepared as in I didn't know what brush to use. I didn't know what brush to use um, to create texture, to create eyelashes, to draw eyebrows and stuff like that. I just went all in and I accidentally discovered the best brush to create eyebrows eyelashes and even hair right on Autodesk sketchbook and it's also free even though in my previous eyelash videos I must have also already talked about this brush but I'm gonna talk about this brush and I'm also gonna show you what settings you can play around with just to make it the best brush ever for eyelashes and eyebrows or hair or whatever it is you want to draw and it's free by the way so someone like recently commented on one of my videos saying that proof you don't need to to buy apps to create good drawings all you need to do is need to understand brushes better their settings better and how to use them and how to apply certain principles while drawing digitally so that's what i'm going to show you in this video so the brush i was talking about and i'm pretty sure you already guessed it is tadwinker now i'm just going to obviously just show you guys how it goes and what i'm going to show you in this video also is what to look for for when you are choosing a brush to create eyelashes or eyebrows or hair all right so any brush which is always lighter in the ends thinner in the ends and thicker when you start a stroke is the best brush doesn't matter if you're drawing eyelashes you're drawing hair you're drawing eyebrows you're just drawing hair on any part of the body it doesn't really matter as long as it fulfills this criteria which is nothing but a thicker starting point and a very thinner and lighter looking end point all right that's the best that's going to be the best brush for hair drawing now the thing is you still might need to play around with the settings of this brush because i am using this brush with very specific settings so now that you know what you're looking for now you can very easily play around with the settings of this brush or any brush you like because this does have a little bit of texture to it any brush you like as long as it fulfills the criteria i just mentioned but you can always just play around with that so what you want to do you want to go to advanced you want to uh tap pressure and here's the settings you want to play around with you always want to make sure that the size with light pressure and flow with light pressure is really really low the minimum you just play around with it you just play around with what you like you can keep it similar to mine but you just want to make sure that the size and the pressure or the flow and the opacity is lower when you put light pressure onto the screen because that's what really is happening when we're drawing a hair strand like this for eyelashes or for eyebrow or whatever whenever we are doing that we are just literally putting very light pressure as we're moving towards the end of that hair strand all right so if you choose a brush which does not fulfill this criteria so let me just pick a and pick another brush and show you what i'm trying to say let's just say this is the brush you picked up for drawing eyelashes and this does not have similar setting all right even with light pressure, it's giving me the similar pigmentation, the similar size, all right? And that's not what we want. That's why a lot of people struggle with creating eyelashes because the brush is not right, all right? This is not what we want. If I go ahead and check out its settings, you can see flow with light pressure is up to the max. Size is similar. Size with heavy pressure and size with light pressure is similar to one another. That's why it's giving me this uniform pigmentation and this uniform size of the this brush no matter what pressure I'm putting onto the screen so that's not what we want so even right now with my tattoo inger brush I think I am gonna play around with the settings a bit more um size is perfect I can decrease the flow a bit more than what it is right now and that is literally it that is the only setting you really need to play around with so now if I just start drawing eyelashes like this by the way if you don't know how to do that I have plenty tutorials already explaining how to draw lashes draw eyebrows i will link all those down below but as you guys can see now it's really effortless 
because of what this brush is doing all right it's literally mimicking a hair strand like even if i like create a stroke a random stroke like this it mimic it's mimicking a hair strand and that's what we want and if i were to do the similar thing with this brush with no settings on it will not give me the results that i want but can we turn this brush in eyelash brush as well absolutely let's just play around with this one as well i'm just gonna increase size with pressure a little bit i'm gonna decrease size with press light pressure i am also gonna decrease flow with heavy pressure a bit and totally decrease flow with light pressure now let's just see if this works out as good as tattoo inker did all right so yeah i mean this is really good this is looking like hair strands perfect but obviously it's not giving that realistic hair strand kind of look and that's why i still prefer tattoo inker on this app like i've tried all the brushes for eyelashes i've even tried um airbrushes as well but i think tattoo inker is the best because it gives you the most realistic results now it really depends on what kind of style you're into what kind of artwork style you're into if you are into like cartoonish or i don't know what style you're into this is perfect for you all right i mean it's to it totally depends on you what kind of style you're looking for all i'm trying to say is you can actually make any brush from this library a brush good for lashes and eyebrows but my favorite one to get the best the most natural the most realistic results my favorite one is tattoo ink it's also really really good for eyebrows as i just mentioned just look at how realistic the hair strand look like all right if you want i can create a separate tutorial just on how to use this brush to create lashes to create eyebrows to create hair i can do that but this video just was about the brush i hope you found this video helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video